Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. Right now I'm out traveling and for the past seven days I've been in London. I started out with a wedding and then I've been seeing a ton of friends and been around in a bunch of different areas around the city. I really enjoy London and it's the city I've been visiting the most over the last two years. I'm staying at a friend's house in Walthamstow with this wonderful view over the city of London and Canary Wharf. I just never get tired of this view. So as you can see, I set up this improvised studio space in my friend's flat and I thought we'd talk a little bit about USB-C charging with a 65 watt charger with the Dell Inspiron 15 7000. I arrived at my friend's house and found out that he just got a new Lenovo computer that came with a 65 watt USB-C charger. A lot of you guys have requested for me to make a video about USB-C charging with a 65 watt charger. So finally I have the opportunity to try it out and see whether it works to run the computer and charge it at the same time with as little as 65 watts power coming into it. The size difference is not that significant between the 65 watt charger from Lenovo and the 90 watt charger from some Chinese brand that I ordered online. This is my 90 watt charger. And this is the Lenovo 65 watt charger. So as you can see, the 90 watt one is a little bit taller, a little bit wider, but a little bit thinner. Let's see how the weight compares. Because there's completely different power cables with the two computers, I'm just gonna weigh them without the power cables. Just to make a comparison, then you're gonna need to add either a short or a long power cable to go with it. Let's start off with the 90 watt charger. The 90 watt charger comes in at 269 grams. Add a power cable to it and there's probably around 300 grams. The Lenovo charger comes in at 244 grams. There's not a very big difference between these two chargers, either in size or in weight. But as you all know, there are some really small 65 watt alternatives out on the market. So if we can get it to run properly with this 65 watt charger, probably it will run fine with a smaller 65 watt charger as well. We have now started up the computer. We have no tasks running except Windows is started. And we're gonna see whether it's able to charge the computer when it's running with the 65 watt charger. We're getting the mandatory undersized power adapter connected. It wants us to connect 130 watts as Dell always wants us to. We're just gonna click that message away. And now we'll see. It says 98% battery available, plugged in and charging. That's really good news. It seems that it's working to charge the computer while it's running with a 65 watt charger. Let's try and run a little bit of a heavier task and see if it still works or if it moves away from charging when I run something a bit heavier. I'm now in DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna do a quick test export to see whether it still charges when I'm rendering a video. Now, when I started the render, it moves into saying that there's 98% battery left, it's plugged in but it's not charging the battery. So it's quite clear to see that when you're running a little bit weaker tasks, it's able to charge the battery while the computer is on. But as soon as you move to a heavier task, it's just gonna be able to power the current task, but it's not gonna charge the battery. We'll also wait a little bit and see if it's depleting the battery while this is happening. I was running this render of a video for about 15 minutes and while it said that the computer wasn't charging and that it was at 98% battery like when I started it up, after the render was done, 
the battery claimed to be full. So I had gone from 98% to 100% even when I was running the render of the video. So that's quite amazing. You can actually work with video production with a 65 watt charger and still have the battery charging while it's plugged in. Just keep in mind that sometimes you might need to run the computer at a little bit lower screen brightness. Powering the screen at full brightness is a really power intensive task. So just lowering the screen brightness a little bit might make the computer go from not charging to charging when you're using a bit of a weaker power adapter. I think it's safe to say that you can go out and buy a 65 watt charger to use with this computer when you're out traveling for example and you don't need to bring the 130 watt or even a 90 watt like the one I'm usually bringing when I'm traveling. This is very good news for me and I will probably look into buying one of the Huawei Matebook Pro chargers that are super small and comes with a detachable USB-C cable. I'm really keen to try with one of those chargers to see whether it works and testing with this Lenovo charger gives me a lot of hope that it's actually going to work. I hope you enjoyed this video about charging the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 with a 65 watt charger. It's been long requested, long coming out, but finally I had the opportunity to make it. If you want more of my content over the upcoming weeks and months, please subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so that you can get notified when I upload new videos. There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out over the upcoming few weeks and months. I'm W2Best, I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. Have a real nice day and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!